Hello and welcome to another video of Flying Upload. Today we will have a look of how you can tag or prepare your designs for uploading, um, about the basic concept of Flying Upload and why you use it, and some additional features like the keyword window, I mean the keyword search, um, you can translate text with a text translation, um, check for trademarks, like we have an integrated trademark check and a copy function so we can copy the data from one design to another. So you will start in the edit window right away. We have selected the first design. All of these designs are related to camping. We can see the preview on the right side. So we can start to put in a title, like I love hiking. Um, description for all hikers who would like to go on a hike. And then put in some text. So let's say hiking, hiker, mountain, uh, Outdoor, sport, hobby, uh, what else? Forest and passion. Uh, maybe it's a gift too. All right. So now we can define for who we want to upload. Let's say for men, woman, and use for black T-shirts. All right. So we select black. It's already selected. So and that's it. We finished to prepare our first design. What we can do now is um, use the data of the first design and copy it to all others. So go to features to bulk copy so we want to copy from the first design that's why one and hit ok and now the data is copied to all other designs so let's go to the second one mm, the title is not perfect so let's add, add camping should be good enough then check our third design should be alright the fourth um, this design has to do with therapy, so we can add some additional tags. Therapy and camping. All right. And have a look at the fifth one. Ah, oh, it should be right. Okay. Ah, uh, not exactly. So this one, um, we cannot put this design on a black T-shirt, so we should put it on a white T-shirt. So we change the color here, and that's basically it. We finished to prepare five designs in this short amount of time and these five designs are ready to upload to eight platforms. You can start the upload process right away. But anyway, what we want to do is we have some more designs, some about coffee. So let's have a look. I drag and drop five, five more designs here. This is a coffee design. So we can start to tag. We should not copy the data of the other designs because this is um, not hiking. This is about coffee. So let's say coffee makes everything better. Okay, so description for everyone who loves coffee and needs the daily caffeine. Uh, who loves coffee and needs All right, then put in some tags like coffee, caffeine, breakfast, coffee cup in the morning, wake up, and maybe lifestyle, if that's good, style. All right, so we, Ah, we forgot the type, okay. Let's put in some types, men and women. Coffee is maybe not for use, for kids. Okay, so this is our coffee design. So let's say you're not native, let's say you are from France or from Germany or from Spain, then you could use another language. You can say, okay, maybe I'm from Germany. So put in the language German. Now we have English and German and we have entered our data in English so we can switch to German and hit translate and all our text will be translated completely automatically from English to German and this not only works from English to German you can translate German text to English or French text to English or English text to French and so on I, I guess you get the idea all right so let's say we are we only need the English language we are from the United States let's go back to edit Okay, and so let's say we want to add some additional keywords. So, oh, 
we spelled coffee wrong, go to keywords and search for keywords related to coffee and hit search all. So now we wait a bit. Mm, awakening is good. Uh, yeah, coffee maker, coffee table, and coffee mug. And expressos. Okay, so hit save. This was our keyword tool. You can search for any keywords at any time. It's a great help if you are tagging your designs. Okay, so let's go to the next one. This is related to coffee as well. So what we could do is just copy the, the data of the previous design to this one. So let's hit the copy button, um, put in the number of the previous design, six, hit OK, and all the data is copied. So this, t this goes to a white t-shirt, so we select white. Um, let's swap the title. Coffee is always a good idea. Okay, and I mean there are many trademarks registered if you are living in the US or Europe, you should know about it. And what the tool can do is check for the trademark. So if you are not sure about a certain expression or a certain word or phrase, you can always check it. So we could mark this text, hit trademark check. And now a trademark check is performed and we will see, okay, this phrase is good to use. I mean, it's green. If there, if you are checking, for example, um, a registered trademark, like uh, a brand, then it will be red because the trademark is registered and you should not use it. So if it's green, you're good to go. Okay. All right, so now we have finished our next design. So let's hit next. Here, yeah, just copy the data of the previous one. Let's get here. Okay. We could, yeah, we could just leave it like this. Go to the next one. Copy again. All right, and this one is maybe a barista. So we could swap the title like barista coffee and if it's in a title we should also add it to the text so add barista okay then we can go to the last one this one is similar to the previous one so we can just copy the, um, the data as well all right and this is basically it we have finished we have finished to tag all our designs now we have, in this short amount of time, prepared 10 designs, which you can upload to like eight platforms or even more later on, right away. And these would, like, if you upload each design to every platform, it would be like 80 uploads in this short of amount of time we prepared it, and now we would just start uploads and it would run automatically. And what I want to show you guys is how the system runs in the background or the, the magic behind the tool is that all the data that you see here that we just entered is stored in XML files. So if we add in data here, like title, description, text, it will be stored in the XML file. And the beauty of the XML files is you can reuse the data. So let's say another platform is introduced later on, you can just drag and drop your image and XML file to the tool and reuse it later on. So you don't have to edit the data ever again. It's already um, tagged and that's it. And you can put the image to whatever drive you want. You can change the path. The only important thing is that the image and the XML file should be together because the XML file stores the data of the image. All right, so this is the basic concept. All your data is stored in XML files and advantages, you just have one input field and with Excel files, you would have different Excel files for each platform. And in this way, you just have one input field for putting on your informations and you just reuse this. Okay, so after tagging all our designs, we could go to the upload window, go to upload, and you can see all of the available platforms here. There will be added, uh, there will be more platforms added in the future for sure. But anyway, so 
Our design is already to upload right away for Redbubble, Spreadshirt, I mean Spreadshirt US and UK, you would have Spreadshirt DE for example if you are from Germany, then the Public, Society6, Teespring, um, Threadless and Shirty. There are platforms which have additional information like a little bit more specific like displayed in the Amazon Merge and you would need to add a few more informations like for Amazon Merge you know you have um, to add bullet points or the brand and you can add these in a um, additional window which we will show you in the videos for the uploading it's not much more work all right so see you guys in the next video for the uploading